Devin Haney, I watched the highlights late on last night. And I've got to say, in my limited knowledge of the sport, I thought Lomachenko had won it. Wait, what did you think, Adam? Uh, there's a lot of expert opinion that does say that Vasil Lomachenko uh, won the fight and he was most certainly in it. Listen, it was tight. It's one of those fights, because we don't have a universal scoring criteria, it all comes down to people's opinions of what they're particularly like within uh, a three-minute period per round. And that's what we've got to remember. We're, we're, we're judging... 12 individual fights. I thought there was only one clear round, which was round 11, which went to Vasil Lomachenko. And I thought there's an argument in every single round of the other 11 as to which way you could have gone. I think 8-4, which was one of the scorecards that came in in Devin Haney's favour, is far too wide. I know that sounds crazy with me saying this, but every round was close. I can see 7-5 either way, and I, can, I personally scored it 6 each. I, I personally scored it a draw. I'm not offended with Devin Haney having his hand raised, but I say this all the time, that when there is doubt, real champions go back and remove all doubt. I remember a time when Floyd Mayweather was questioned on a couple of occasions that maybe fans didn't think that he'd won certain fights, and what Floyd Mayweather did in those moments, he went away, he made a rematch, and then he dished out a bit of a whooping. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> De Devin, Devin Haney will, uh, yeah. if he wants to be classed as one of the greats, he'll, he'll make a rematch and give Lomachenko another opportunity. Sure thing. I don't know about you, Simon. I, uh, uh, Devin Haney, I'm sure he's bothered, went down in my estimation, because if you can't respect someone like Lomachenko for what he's given the sport, and he's Ukrainian, he's a legend of the sport, mm. then there's something wrong with you. And Haney should have demonstrated and certainly shown a lot more respect towards Lomachenko before it, during it, and after it. Yeah, well, that, in an ideal world, that's what you'd like to see. I mean, I do I do think that Lomachenko won the fight. I do think some of the scorecards, especially Dave Moretti's, needed to be questioned. I think yeah. giving round 10 as a 10-9 as a, as a to Haney is, is perplexing. And if you look at the guys that were in the auditorium, and it's two different fights. There's one you're watching in the auditorium, there's one you go back and watch at home. So the guys that were in the auditorium came out. When you're listening to Terence Crawford, you're listening to Jorge Linares, mm. and you're listening to Shakur Stevenson, all thinking that Lomachenko won this fight, you start to move into that territory. And I think, clearly, Devin Haney idolises Floyd Mayweather. If he wants to idolise Floyd Mayweather, then perhaps he'll do what Floyd Mayweather do, which is go back and clear this up. Because I think there is enough in that decision-making process to suggest that there's a lot of people that are unhappy with it and I don't think it really shines the great light on it because I don't think Devin Haney won that fight. I think what you did see is is that Haney, if he fought Shakur Stevenson, would come up short against him. But Lomachenko's 35 years of age mm. and and there's still loads left in him because some of, some of those rounds and some of the hand speed that he exhibited at him was phenomenal, wasn't it? He's just top class, mate. I, if you know, I'm, you're not. You're supposed to remain impartial with these things, aren't you? But I absolutely love the fella. He's just a joy to watch. Um, and as uh, Jim alluded to a moment or two ago, his amateur pedigree, what he did, being a two-time uh, Olympic champion, and now being the fastest man to be a three-weight world champion in the professional game, you kind of wanted the romanticism of him becoming the undisputed champion at the weekend. Um, and sadly, it you know. For, for the opinion of three people, it, it, it wasn't to materialise. But you're right in what you're saying. There's a lot of expert opinion that was in the auditorium that night. A lot of people that have watched it on TV as well who do favour and do believe that Vasil Lomachenko uh, won that fight. Like I said, I scored it six apiece. I thought it was razor close. It was a top, top quality fight. And more fights like this need to happen where we see the very best against the best for undisputed titles. I mean, Simon, the uh, Igis Klimas, you, you and I know him, we've yeah. interviewed him. Lomachenko's manager said they'll appeal the defeat to Haney. I mean, What's the point of it? Because it might crystallise in the minds of people like Devin Haney that a rematch is required. I don't know. I think the language that he used was just a little bit emotive because mm -hmm. I scored it 7-5, which is an, you know, a width away from being 6 or which is where Adam is. So it's, mm -hmm. not, it's not Jack Cattrall territory. No. But it's still a decision that, that should warrant perhaps a return fight to be able to clean this up, unless Devin Haney doesn't fancy that. But again, this time round, Devin Haney knows precisely what he's going in against. Yeah. And if he didn't first time round, he would do second. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.